Hey guys, it's Andy Rag. Um, just thought I'd share with you uh, my thoughts on uh, my latest gear acquisition. This is the uh, latest British Army uh, middleweight sleeping bag or medium sleeping bag. Uh, it's part of the modular sleep system which incorporates the Gore-Tex bivy bag, this bag, um, the the lightweight summer bag or jungle bag and the and the liner um, as it stands at the minute it's approximately two feet long by about a foot wide um, pretty bulky I've not compressed it down so what we'll do is now we'll get it out of the stuff sack and uh, let's have a brief rundown okay we have the bag out of the stuff sack uh, this is the uh, the normal size bag, I believe there is a large version for taller people. I mean, I'm 5'8 and a bit, so um, this one's going to fit me just fine. But uh, it's got quite a tight opening for the uh, for the head or the face. Um, covering is, you can see that, a really fine 3 mil square. Parachute silk, ripstop material, big blobs of Velcro for the fastenings. There is a front or an outer baffle for the zip, a really heavy duty zip, and then a very heavily insulated um, internal zip baffle. <laughs> Sorry. Um, tricky to do with these videos there's a draw cord for the uh, for the opening which again <laughs> it's quite tiny so it really is supposed to fit around your face you know um, the zip runs right almost to the uh, the foot of the bed sorry the bag and it is uh, a center zipping bag so if you fancy doing any hammock camping this is going to be ideal for you uh, I believe this bag is actually a, a MOD copy of the Corinthia bag, the Corinthia Defence 4. I mean, that's the uh, the label. Inside, you've got a couple of big mesh pockets with Velcro. Uh, there's also another little curious pocket here which um, I found a little poly bag inside and what appeared to be a replacement zipper uh, but it doesn't appear to want to fit on somehow so I'm not, I'm not really sure as to why that's supplied it's certainly not the same but uh, the insulation is pretty thick and uh, from what I've Research this bag's good to about minus five, and then combined with other components in the uh, in the sleep system, it um, it'll take you down to minus fifteen. Well, you know whether that's a snug pack minus fifteen or an actual minus fifteen remains <laughs> to be seen. But uh, I don't think I'll be using it that deep in the cold. But uh, it's quite a good bag. I mean, I got this listed as new off eBay for 30 quid with the compression sack. Um, and it's in pretty good nick. Well, it ought to be for new. Um, I haven't been inside it yet. But uh, just thought I'd share that with you. Okay, this is the compression sack that comes with this bag. Um, it's made out of a very substantial uh, polyurethane back nylon. Um, and this this thing itself is quite heavy. Um, it got very good buckles, 25 mil webbing everywhere, and uh, the way it's constructed, I believe uh, this thing looks like it's waterproof. To all but total immersion. Um, the stuff sack does have a cap which is 
also it's also got a draw cord on it so if you uh, if you if you get it put together properly um, you know it's it's going to be resistant of uh, pretty much like I say direct submersion I mean I'm, I'm not going to test it out normally I put my stuff in a in a bin liner anyway or a, a garden rubble sack is what I tend to use these days if I can't find a, a dry bag big enough but you can see that all the, all the, uh, the seams are taped it's, uh, it's a very heavy duty bag this the label okay I'll uh, I'll get this thing back in the bag get it crunched down so you can see the size of it once it's uh, it's got some compression applied and bring it back okay yeah uh, just thought I'd bring you back uh, before I scrunch it down um, you can see here how the end cap fits over the end of the stuff sack um, thoughts on the bag itself it it does naturally loft up quite heavily and obviously that accounts for the bulk of the beast um, I'm going to crunch it down now so I can show you you know how big the uh, the bag is when it's compressed because um, obviously the size of this beast is is considerable and it's uncompressed state, so uh, just bear with me, I'll bring you back. Okay, here we are again. Uh, this is the bag uh, compressed. Um, don't really want to take it down any further than, uh, than what it is at the minute. Because uh, I don't want to start snapping straps off the thing, but it's quite, uh, quite a lump still. Um, it's probably reduced in in length by just shy of a half uh, and obviously it fattens up just a little bit in the compression process um, obviously these side straps tighten up as well so you could probably get those get it down a little bit more um, I'm trying to think back to when I had uh, my old bouncing bomb bag um, many years ago when I was uh, still in the TA and kind of reminds me of, of that kind of size albeit maybe a touch smaller I don't know um, it's a similar kind of compression sack if not the same uh, obviously the old one didn't have these side compression straps uh, I think it's just a little bit smaller, but not by much. Sadly, I don't have one to do in a you know, side by side comparison. But uh, but yeah, that's the bag. So uh, what I'll do in, a, in another video is I'll probably combine all the components of the sleep system when I get them, uh, so you can see exactly what you get in its entirety. But for now, I want to leave you uh, with this and. Um, so for what I paid for this, it's uh, it's a pretty decent piece of kit. That's probably good for most of our autumn and winter, with a few exceptions. And then obviously you just tag on the extra bits as you need them. So take care, and uh, I'll see you again. So thanks for watching. It's Andy Rag. Cheers. Okay, always uh, pays to read the fine print. And this says here that this, this compression bag can be used for both the medium weight and the lightweight bag together. So when they're combined. So uh, that would save you carrying uh, two lots of compression bags, I guess. Um, and there you go. Hot box.
want to see. They don't want to see up my nose. Again, right. Mentioned uh, briefly on the sleeping bag um, description that there was a small pocket uh, up near the top of the opening of the sleeping bag on the inside of the bath of the external baffle. Uh, when I first opened the bag up. Um, Sorry, the packaging. When I first opened the packaging up uh, and started looking in the bag, I found this little lumpy thing inside the uh, the small pocket. Um, and I pulled it out, and it was a, like a little plastic bag and what appeared to be some uh, it looked like a paper, small piece of paper that had been washed. And this little doodah. And I didn't really paying much attention to it. I thought, well, you know, it's just a new replacement zipper. Now I'm not going to get it on there like that. And, you know, but I've had another look at this and this is actually, I don't know if you can see that. Hang on a minute. Who remembers being licked by the mums when they were kid and, and rubbed to get the, to get cleaned up. Yeah. Me too. Well, there we go. I don't know if you can see that, but this is a slide on zipper. That's Z L I D E. Um, slide on. And what this is, is basically a repair zip. So if your main zipper comes off, like mine did once. Minus 13 in Burbage Plantation. There was I, with my mates, freezing my nuts off because my zipper came off my old 58 pattern down sleeping bag. I wish I'd had, had one of these. Anyway, so what we're going to do is we're going to move in for a bit of a close up so you can see how easy this thing is to actually fit. So this is how it comes, and obviously this is this is the two zip, but this is the two puller version because obviously it's got two pullers. So basically, to separate separate this and fit it to your ailing zip, you, you simply hold it like so and push down there, and you'll see that the mouth or the jaws of the zip. Have opened so you could put this at the bottom of the zip on both sides clamp it shut move it up and down now obviously I can't simulate this because I don't have a busted sorry I need to keep this in shot uh, I don't I can't really simulate this as I don't have a zip that's busted but what an awesome thing to do to include a repair zip in a sleeping bag like that especially a, a military sleeping bag i mean that's just that's just awesome i mean that alone has made my day so i just thought i'd share with that with you let's move you back up so you can see my ugly mug there you go so let's hear it for this line on zipper maybe it can save somebody the misery of a night in the snow with no zipper on their sleeping bag. Okay, speak to you soon.